Okay, here's a little video showing the uh, the new firmware for the controller that Fran wrote. It, uh, this is actually the first time it's uh, ever been tested was tonight on a uh, on a motor. It uh, it seemed to work pretty good. So uh, this is actually configurable through the serial port. So if we uh, we can open Hyper Terminal, which is just uh, program files. Accessories, communications, and hyperterminal. So open that up, and then uh, you get create a name for new connection. So I'm just going to call it controller. Hit OK. Then you want to se select your serial port. It's COM1 on this computer. So and then you got to select your serial settings. So it's 19,200 baud, 8 data bits, no parity, uh, 1 stop bit, and no flow control. So I'll apply that, and you're all set. So I'm going to maximize this. Oh, that didn't work right. Keep it small. Okay, so if we come down here, I'll plug in the controller. So. This says the new firmware on it. There's, a, there's no bootloader on this right now. It's just uh, flash the firmware straight to the chip. The, uh, you can see the little yellow LED is on. Um, showing that uh, it uh, initialized fine. So we come back up here. You see it says Cougar OS controller firmware 0 0.1. So you can see it works. So if you hit enter, and enter again. Well, I was just gonna keep showing that. Sorry, config. There we go. It's been a long day. So here we go. These are the settings that you got available. You got your KP, your KI, your minimum raw throttle, your maximum raw throttle, your uh, You've got your position gain, your PWM gain, your current ramp, and RTD period is a scrolling feature. We'll get to that later on. So, the, the KP2 and the KI160 is just a default uh, value that uh, should be pretty safe, should run most things. Uh, I took it for a quick ride earlier in the golf cart and noticed that it uh, it's a little choppy. But uh, I'm going to work on tuning that out. Like It's really easy now. You can just do, uh, do KP, lowercase, the space, and the new value on enter. So like 6, hit enter. There you go. KP6 is what's in the controller now. So this is stored in ROM. Sorry, RAM. And uh, when you restart the controller, it will go away. So you can type save. When you hit enter... You can see it saves the new values to uh, to the EEPROM. So now, now when you restart it, which I'll do, I'll just pull the power and uh, connect it back up. So now we're back into it. You can see it welcomed us again. So type config. And uh, you can see, KP is 6. So there you go. I'm going to put it back to 2 just because... Uh, I don't know what adverse effects that could have on it. So you just do KP2. There we go. It's 2 now. Save that to the EEPROM. All done. So some of the other things is uh, your throttle minimum raw counts is with your pedal all the way down. Your maximum raw counts is with your pedal all the way up. So getting into the RTD period... If you type RTD hyphen period space and then enter value. The value is milliseconds. Uh, you should keep it at a minimum 50 milliseconds and uh, however slow you want to update. So I'm going to put in 500 milliseconds so it'll update the screen every half a second. So here we go. This is live data coming out of the controller. So we got our throttle position. Right here, 
and then we got raw current. I believe this is the uh, the factored current. Your heat sink temperature, and RT. I don't remember what it is. Oh, that that is your throttle coming straight out of the ADC. And XT is just for friends diagnostics. So you can see that my pedal all the way up is 794. So if I push the pedal, the golf cart is not going to move because the power is not enabled right now. But you will watch the values change kind of slowly because, like I said, it's half a second. You see everything increasing. Pull it off and go back down. So if I type the same thing, RTD hyphen period and then 50. 50 millisecond update. See, it starts going a lot faster. So, I know it looks a little weird when you're typing it, but it is actually catching all the characters you're typing. Think of it as being in a separate field. RTD, period, zero. There it is. Stopped. Type config again. Back to the config screen. So I'm going to change the throttle max rock counts. So T dash max dash RC space 794. Hit enter. And you can see, change the high, high point of the throttle to 794 now. So save that to EEPROM. There we go. So now the high point of the throttle is 794. So let me uh, charge up the uh, the bus. Let you charge up there. Takes a little while. Kind of high, high value resistor. There we go. Turn on the contactor. There it is. So now we're enabled. So if I push the throttle, it'll start to move. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, found out why it didn't move. I had to uh, restart the controller. Uh, like I said, this is new firmware. Not sure why that is. I'm going to have to talk to uh, Fran about that. I'll mention to him when I talk to him tomorrow. But uh, that's about it for now. You've got your, uh, your current ramp rate, which you can change that to change the ramp of the current. Right now, 6 is uh, pretty heavy. This thing will spin the tires on anything but tar. Go. <laughs> oh, I made a mud patch. Which is uh, a little rough. But, uh, you see now, push the throttle, and it will move. So if I, uh, bring it back here to the live screen, RTD, dash period, and I'll do 50, so it's quick update. You can see it going through there. And as I push the throttle... gets a little jumbled in there. I'm guessing that's because of some timing. But, uh... It, uh... It works pretty well. It seems really stable. And, uh... I think it's gonna work great.